Welcome to the awakening. <laughs> How are you today? It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm sitting here by the screen and uh, waiting to do an interview. Um, I was going to do an interview with one person and then things changed around. Now I'm going to do an interview with another person. So that's life, you know, this is how it happens. We always have to have a backup plan. Maybe that's what we're talk about today is a backup plan. Moving you from the dark into the light and just keeping an eye out to see. <laughs> anyway, in front of you, you've got the book Simply Amazing as well. And Simply Amazing is the book that I'm in, chapter eight, where it talks about my recovery in the therapeutic community. And um, one of the things. I learned, as I say, was to have a backup plan. You see, life is crazy. We're living in chaos. We don't know whether we're coming or going. We don't know what's happening from one day to another. But we need to have a backup plan. We need to know that whatever happens, we are going to be okay. That we're going to be able to get through the day. That we're going to be able to function. Uh, that we can take the day and we can mold it in a different way if we need to, as to make sure that we get the most out of it. So a backup plan. So that's what I want to talk about today. So you, you basically create your structure, okay? You create a structure, you create some, uh, a few things that you can do that get you up in the morning, you have a bit of a structure, and that's always good to have. But because, you know, people may get ill, people may not be able to make it. As I say, we're living in a very strange world at the moment. We don't know what's happening from one day to another. The backup plan is really important to know that even if you do get up and you've got your structure and you've got everything ready to move forward the way you thought you wanted it to be, just in case things don't work out, you've got another plan. So you've got a backup plan, whether it's somebody else to interview, whether it's something to edit, whether you can go for a walk, whether you can meditate. But just be aware that perfectionism is not going to happen. <laughs> you cannot be a perfectionist. You cannot, nothing's going to be perfect. The way we're living at the moment, everything's going to be haphazard. There may be a little bit of certainty. You may know a little bit of what's going on but from one day to another we're living in a consciousness where things could change just like that just like that as we saw the way we got locked down we don't know what could happen and so we have to have that backup plan and the but as i said the backup plan needs to be a little bit of certainty so if we look at life uh people you can't trust them 100%. You can't trust the world anymore 100%, not even 90, 80, 70%, I'd say. Now, you've got to be able to trust yourself to a certain level. And your backup plan could be to make sure that you drink water, to make sure that you get up and brush your teeth, to make sure that you eat, your, eat something to keep your blood sugar, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> Uh, to make sure that you can meditate or do some Qigong or Falun Dafa like we did yesterday, you know, the very gentle bringing yourself into balance. My backup plan is to do an awakening every day, but if the computer breaks down, I have to have another backup plan. So I have, I have a camera, so I'll film it, okay? So... You can only do your best. You can only do your best. So you have backup plans. The backup plan is because the sun is shining and it's beautiful. Go for a walk. Play with your animals. You can write down a whole series of backup plans. As I say, today, the person I was going to interview didn't work out. So I contacted someone else. And it's a bit of a funny day today because I woke up thinking I'm tired and I can't do 
any interviews today and there's not enough uh, memory on the computer. And guess what happened? People have not been living up to the plan. They've got other things going on. And it was kind of very um, on the spot that I organized the interview. So the backup plan will be to do the awakening with you and tell you to have a backup plan. And to pull a how to stay sane in a crazy world card. And to have a look at the message that we can get from that for today. Okay, so we were talking about doing a card for the awakening. I did a pause there. I did this fantastic interview with Charlie Ward. Uh, he explained a little bit about himself and what's really going on in the world and Q and Gisara and Nisara. And uh, you're going to love the interview, so please watch it. A beautiful new world is coming. We just need patience, that's all. We talked about having a backup plan, and the card for today is creativity. So be creative, my friends. Do what you love. I will be myself and create whatever I feel I would like to, that my day is special and fun. So I'm going to go back now to edit the interview I did with Paul McDonald so I can get it out there as he's much creative, very creative man does lots of wonderful things and his music is going to be on the program uh, uh, which is a new program I'm doing called Messengers of Light. Who do you think you are? <laughs> so exciting. Okay, love you lots. Take care and uh, enjoy the awakening. Bye. <laughs>